Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we go about finding the magnitude of a vector. Now the magnitude of a vector is the size of it. Remember that a vector quantity is something that's got direction and size. We call it magnitude. So if I took a vector a for instance then the magnitude of this vector a would be represented by this length. And we write the magnitude of the vector a as a in between two vertical lines. Now it could be that you've got a vector written in the form a to b. We would tend to be using this when we're referring to displacement vectors for instance. And so for the vector AB, we would write AB with the arrow on the top in between two vertical lines. Or you could just write AB or even BA. It's going to refer to that length from A to B. So how do we go about working out the length of a vector, the magnitude of a vector? Well, the best way I can illustrate it is through an example. So let's suppose we've got this vector a. Now I'm not going to draw this in bold so I'm just going to put a squiggle underneath that. And let's say it's got column vector 4, 3. In other words we'd go across from here 4 units and then up 3 units. I'll just mark that in then as 4 that way and 3 up. Now because we've got a right angle triangle in here, then we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the magnitude, the length of this vector a. So using Pythagoras' theorem I can then say that the magnitude of the vector a, and again I'm going to have to just do it with a little squiggle there, is equal to, and by Pythagoras' theorem it's going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of these two shorter sides. So we've got the root then of 4 squared plus 3 squared. And that's going to be the root of 25. Being a length obviously it's not going to be plus or minus so it's just going to be 5. So that's that example there. Now for this vector here a to b. Let's just suppose that we had the vector a to b was the column vector minus 2, 4. Then what would be the magnitude of the vector a to b? Remember I could write it just simply as a b or even b a. Well for this one then starting at a we're going minus 2 which is 2 units to the left and we're going 4 units up. So this length is going to be 2 units. Notice that I don't need the negative 2 there and up that's just going to be 4. So using Pythagoras' theorem the magnitude of the vector AB is going to be the square root of 2 squared then plus 4 squared and that's going to be the root of 4 plus 16, in other words root 20. You might want to break this down further as the square root of 4 times 5 which breaks down to 2 root 5. Now vectors don't have to come as column vectors, they can come in i's and j form. And so I've got this vector here, d, which is minus i minus 3j. So what would the magnitude of this vector be? Well, if I wrote it out, it's going to be the magnitude of the vector d is going to equal, and what we've got here is the root of 1 squared plus 3 squared. And that's going to be equal then to the root of 1 plus 9, in other words, the root of 10. And that's because we're going one unit to the left and three units down. One in other words that way and three down. Now in summary then, let's suppose we've got a vector A with components x, y. 
then by Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of the vector a is given by the root of x squared plus y squared. Don't forget that it doesn't matter if your values for x and y are negative. As say in this example here, all you need to do is just take the positive values and square them. Now in my next video, I'm going to just take this a bit further where I'm going to give you coordinates, for instance, of points like A and B and get you to find the distance between them by using a vector method. So I hope you'll have a look at that one.